Hi guys. Um, I want to do this video because I got a question from somebody um, asking me to give my opinion on Silver Ravenwolf, and I gave gave them my uh, my opinion on Silver Ravenwolf, but I thought it was a good topic to bring up on YouTube since there are a lot of videos um, portraying her and giving opinions on her as well as uh, Laura Cabot, but that's a whole different subject. Um, I might include it a little bit in this video, but this video is primarily on my opinion of Silver Ravenwolf. Okay, so uh, really I don't know where to begin on this one. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, Silver Raven Wolf is an American author. Um, she's written many different books on Wicca and the subject of witchcraft. Now, do I agree with everything she wrote? No. Um, to be quite honest, I think most of her subjects, most of the stuff she talks about, is um, fluff bunny type stuff. It's artificial, it's stuff that is giving a bad name to the Wiccan community as a whole. Um, Wicca is a serious matter. It's not something that is a joke. It's not to be played with. And if you are not going to be serious and accept the fact that it is a strong religious force, then you don't even need to be practicing it. Okay? And that's just my opinion. I feel like it should be taken seriously. You shouldn't be laughing and joking and all this other stuff while you're in circle. Um, and don't take that the wrong way. I think that for certain ceremonies and certain rituals, it's okay to laugh and kind of goof off a little bit. But there is a time and a place, and there is a limit. You don't want to be disrespectful to your practice or to your higher power. Um, to deity. So, most of the stuff that I've read from her, such as um, To Ride a Silver Broomstick, dumbest name I've ever heard in my life for a book based on a religion, um, and then the biggest issue I had with her writings was Teen Witch. Um, Teen Witch, something witchcraft for the next generation, something like that. And it is bogus, straight up bogus. She is basically trying to write and teach younger newcomers how to practice Wicca and how to practice witchcraft, such as spells, um, how to do rituals and things like that, but she is including the fun into it and the... It just seems artificial to me um, because it's supposed to be something that is holy and sacred and spiritual, not fun and crazy, okay? And that is my personal opinion. A lot of people disagree. A lot of people do agree. So whatever, but that's how I feel. I feel like it should be taught in seriousness and not artificially. Um, do I hate Silver Raven Wolf? No, I do not. Um, the fact that she is an author, that she's doing something with her life, that, you know, she she's trying, I respect her for that. And she is a part of a huge freaking coven. Um, so if she has part of
pardon my language, but if she has the balls to be able to get all of that stuff going, then I have more than respect for her. It's her way of reaching out to people through her writing that bothers me, not her as an individual. Um, I just don't like her books. <laughs> and I, I tried before I made this video to talk positive about it, to give my opinion, but put it in a positive perspective. I can't. I don't like her writings whatsoever, and I disagree with the fact that it's beneficial to newcomers. Um, because newcomers need to automatically know that this is not all fun and games. It's serious. And so if they're being taught when they first enter Wicca and start practicing witchcraft and think that it's all a joke and a game, then they're going to evolve and start teaching from what they learn from. And that's going to make Wicca fall apart from the get-go. Okay? It's not a joke. It's something that is strongly serious. True Wiccans will hold strongly to their faith and will fight back to those that um, discriminate against them and stuff like that. We stand strong in our faith. It's a real religion. It's recognized in the United States and it is growing larger than Christianity itself. So we are fighting to get our rights. It's no different than fighting for gay rights. So when you want to talk about gay rights and stuff, um, in a sense, Silver Raven Wolf is the straight person trying to act gay so that she can get the same rights as the gay people. Make sense? So it's kind of like, why are you doing this? Why are you writing this nonsense if you claim to be a Wiccan and you want to teach? Because obviously she wouldn't be writing books teaching witchcraft if she didn't want to teach it. Okay? So if you're going to teach witchcraft, make sure you know what the hell you're talking about. Make sure that you know the history of Wicca. Make sure that you... Um, read into it, that you understand where it comes from, and that you don't just feed people bullshit. Now, um, I was talking about Laura Cabot. I'm not going to make a big scene out of this one, but I, <laughs> I have more respect for Laura Cabot's work than I do Silver Ravenwolf's work, and that is bad because I don't like Laurie Cabot. I like Silver Raven Wolf. I just don't like her work. Laurie Cabot, I don't like her. Straight up. Her as an individual, her as a person, I don't like her. Um, and the reason why I say that is because she is one of these types of witches that try to portray themselves in public as the stereotypical witch. She doesn't take it seriously. Um, there's a few of them in my area that do the same thing. They wear the black robes and the black pointy hats, and they decorate their house filled with witchcraft stuff. Um, now, if it's Wiccan stuff, like pentacle wall hangings and stuff like that, I can respect that, and I understand that. But when you have the stereotypical witch, like statues and stuff you buy at Walmart, or stuff like that, and you just start decorating your house, and as soon as somebody random walks in, they think it's Halloween all over again. That's a little bit too far. That's too much. Um, it makes us look bad just the same as Silver Ravenwolf's writings. Um, but that is my issue with Laurie Cabot. She dresses like the stereotypical witch at all times. Um, she has a tattoo of a pinnacle or something like that on her face. Um, her shop that she had, she, I don't know if she still has it or not. Um, someone told me that she closed it down, but I don't know if that's true or not. I know she still, still uh, has the website, but she overcharges for her stuff too. And it's not even fancy stuff. It's stuff that you would 
be able to make on your own. You can go to the grocery store and make your own herb blends that she's trying to sell for $15, $20. Um, and so she's pretty much in it for the business aspect. She's trying to sell witchcraft and trying to sell Wicca rather than offer it freely. This is what you need to do to grow spiritually, blah, 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 blah. Now, I understand that when you have a shop, when you sell stuff, um, when you make stuff to sell, uh, you have to make some form of profit in order to keep your business going. And you have to be able to survive as well, so you need to make profit from whatever it is you do. Um, even if you're just a teacher, I agree that you should charge a certain amount to teach, um, especially if it's in class, if you have a physical teaching environment and you are providing like the books and stuff like that, then yes, there should be an entrance fee or something like that. But you don't want to charge to the point that you're taking everything that that person has. And that is how I feel about Laurie Cabot. I feel like she is all show. She's advertising, pretty much, witchcraft. Um, and making it look like a show rather than a real religion. Um, and they honor her in Salem as the witch of Salem and all this shit. But she's just a normal, everyday human being. She didn't do anything great. I mean, she was involved with... Um, She was involved in the Wiccan movement and stuff, but that's still not to say that she should be seen as an idol. I mean, she's just a normal, everyday human being that fought for the same rights that me and 10,000 other Wiccans fight for on a daily basis. So I feel like she just takes it too far, and she is... She's almost like a billboard, in a way. Like, hey, witchcraft is real. Scream it. Shove it down people's throats. That type of thing. And I disagree with that. And she overcharges for her supplies. I have an issue with that. Um, I don't know. I just... It's her personality and how she portrays herself spiritually that I have an issue with. And therefore, I don't like her. Because it is a personal thing with her. With Silver Raven Wolf, I'm sure she's got good intentions, but she's saying it the wrong way, um, or at least in my opinion, and I feel like it's a joke to her. Um, to both of them, I feel like it's a joke. And it's teaching people that it's okay to scream and flaunt and parade their religious beliefs when that should not happen. Um, I know a lot of Wiccans that um, bitch and gripe about Christians shoving stuff down people's throats, or some Christians, not all. And But then they turn around and they shove their religion down people's throats as well. So they're hypocrites, basically. They are judging someone for what they do, but yet they're turning around and doing the exact same thing and think it's okay. No, it's not. If you don't want it shoved down your throat, then you don't shove yours down their throat. That's just the way it is. But anyway, that's my opinion on Silver Raven Wolf and Laurie Cabot. Um, thank you all for watching. I just wanted to do this because I felt like I needed to ramble a little bit um, and kind of give my opinion. Now, as far as other authors and stuff, I don't really have an issue with any of them. Um, those are the two people that really stick out to me in the pagan and Wiccan community as a no-go. Um, people that I would not even handshake. Um, I don't hate Silver Raven Wolf. I don't hate Laurie Cabot. I don't hate anybody. But I do not like at all. I will not like Laurie Cabot or Silver Raven Wolf's writings. And Laurie Cabot would even be welcome in my own home. That's how bad I'm against her. Um, one of the people I do like 
is Thea Seven. Uh, she wrote Wicca for Beginners. And that was a good book. And then she also has this book, a teaching handbook for Wiccans and Pagans. That's a good book. I've been reading up on it. And I have quite a few more books, but I don't really want to get them all out and, you know, scatter them everywhere. Um, just be careful who you read or whose books you read. Um, if you're going to like Barnes and Noble or Books a Million, something like that to get your books, um, even online on Amazon and stuff like that, if you're buying Pagan and Wiccan books on there, um, read the description first, make sure that, um, that it's beneficial to your needs. Um, if you go online, such as Amazon.com, make sure you read other people's opinions on it. Um, because if 9 out of 10 people don't like the book, then there's a chance that you may not like it as well. So uh, just be careful who you read up on and uh, don't believe everything you hear. Just because they claim to be a witch doesn't mean they're a witch. Okay? So if they advertise it, if they look stereotypical, I would suggest staying away from them simply because it's not it's not a show it's not something you want to scream out to the world um i wear my pinnacle and that's as far as i go i do not advertise and i do not scream there's no need for it and that is how i get the respect i get is because it's not a game to me it is a real religion so that's all for this video. May the goddess and the god be forever in your heart. I love you all, and blessed be.